The title is correct. Yes, pig's kidney transplanted into a human. So I wanted to share with you exactly what happened a few weeks ago and tell you in a simplified fashion exactly what happened and what is going on regarding this latest news, pig's kidney transplanted into a human. Basically about a few weeks ago, probably three to four weeks ago, the Medical Center of Langone Health System in New York City announced that there was a patient. Her, she had a catastrophic brain bleed and brain injury and eventually had what we call brain death. Brain death means clinical death, ethical death, medical death, legal death, or religious death. So the patient actually uh, have died and she has been an organ donor. So at that time, either the organs will be donated or patient will be uh, taken off life support and that has been an accepted standard of care. Now the family at the time agreed and volunteered that their loved one participate in a unique study. That unique study is when a pig's kidney was transplanted in that patient, was placed right in the upper area of her thigh. Now that patient kidney function was declining, her urine output was dropping and her kidney numbers and kidney functions was declining and the creatinine was going up. So the patient needed some form of renal replacement therapy and that pig's kidney was transplanted. This was performed by Dr. Robert Montgomery, who himself is an organ recipient, an organ transplant recipient few years prior to this. Now, the uniqueness about this, in the past, a cross species transplantation, like between different animal species or between pigs and humans, that was immediately met in humans by what we call an acute hyperrejection, where immediately, almost instantaneously, that transplanted organ becomes uh, rejected. There's a lot of uh, blood clotting, there's a lot of immune attack, and immediately within minutes, that organ is no longer functional and it's called hyperacute rejection. So that was in the past. The unique features of this transplantation is the fact that this organ did not suffer from this acute attack. And the reason is the pig's kidney prior to transplantation and the pig has been treated with a certain technology called gene deletion technology, where the cells of the pig had a certain molecule, a sugar molecule that has been removed during this uh, procedure, gene deletion technology, and a part of the thymus gland, which is the immune regulator of the immune system, part of it was transplanted with that kidney as well. So utilizing this technology, the pig's kidney supposedly became less intense and less immunogenic. So it does not induce immunity in humans. So the kidney was transplanted in the upper part of the thigh and has been exposed. So we can see exactly what's happening with it. We can see whether there is a uh, duskiness or whether it's working well. And uh, in the following few hours and days, urine output started going up, kidney numbers started to improving and the kidney function started to improve. Now this is an unprecedented step into a new frontier, the xenotransplantation or cross-species transplantation. Now, this technology will not be the standard of care and will not be available anytime in the near future, but it is in the right door, open the right door to get into the right um, arena for xenotransplantation where there is a lot of humans that have organ failures and a need for organ transplantation. I know once this become more common, the questions will come up. Medical questions, religious questions, ethical questions, human questions, legal questions, spiritual questions about the, this particular type of transplantation. I do not have answers. I do not have opinion at this time. It is one time, one organ between a human and a pig. So with that, I just wanted to share with you what happened a few weeks ago, involve you, and uh, let you know that this is what is going to come up in the next few years or a couple of decades, and I may not see it in my professional life, but I just wanted to let you know. Love you all. 
Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'm Dr. Rafai, the virtual nephrologist.